Well, it's Judgment Day in the UK. Here's Rishi Sunak just two weeks ago on the floor of the House of Lords assuring people of this one fact that they still so desperately want us to believe. Let me be unequivocal from this dispatch box that COVID vaccines are safe, Mr. Speaker. Except that they're not, are they, Prime Minister? And he was forced to admit this when face to face with one of tens of thousands of vaccine injured individuals in the UK. I want you to look into my eyes, Rishi Sunak, and I want you to look at the pain, the trauma, and the regret I have in my eyes. We have been left with no help at all. Not only am I in here that's vaccine injured, there's another man over there whose life's been ruined by that COVID-19 vaccine. I know people who have lost legs, amputations. I know people with heart conditions like myself, Rishi Sunak. Why have I had to set up a support group in Scotland to look after the people that have been affected by that COVID-19 vaccine? Why are the people who are in charge who told us all to do the right thing, have left us all to rot and left me and the thousands and the tens of thousands in this country to rot. There is a vaccine compensation scheme that's in place, as you alluded to in the NHS. Obviously, everyone individually will work through their cases. It's difficult for me to comment on anyone's individual case. I'm sure you'll appreciate that. I'm very happy to go and look at the cases, and I'm sure you'll get them to the team here. I mean, I, I'm very saddened and shocked to hear that you've been silenced by anybody. That is surprising to me. You flat-out liar. You said two weeks ago, unequivocally, your own word, unequivocally safe then why is there 30,000 people in that gentleman's support group, Prime Minister? And why are you admitting outright, just two weeks later, to him, oh, there is a vaccine injury compensation scheme, much like we have here in Australia? Why are you still saying it's safe? It says a lot regarding why there's not one single pandemic premier left here in Australia. And indeed, the man who was Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, during that time, has also announced his resignation. Do they know a judgment day is coming here in Australia as well? Meanwhile, here in our own parliament, here is Senator Jared Rennick, who has done absolutely everything to hold the government to account for the complete and utter lies it told over the pandemic. Here he is simply trying to find out how safe these vaccines are. He's asking the TGA for batch details. At the last uh, uh, set of estimates, I'll put a question on notice that asked for evidence and results of safety testing in regards to commercially produced batches. Uh, and uh, I note recently uh, there was a release, FOI, Freedom of Information 44558, that also asked for the um, data of the batches. And in, my, in your answer to my response was a link that had no actual data in it. And I note that the FOI for 4558 was 70 pages of, of blanked out data. Can we get the batch information that was asked in this FOI that shows what was in the batches and the batch testing, please. Senator, I, I appreciate the irony, but I might have to take that on notice. Uh, that does predate my arrival. That, that's uh, fine, but what yeah. I want is a commitment from you to be completely transparent about what was in those batches. Uh, I will give you a commitment to be as transparent as I can within the constraints of our freedom of information requirements. Why will the TGA not disclose their batch testing results? You saw the page Jared Rennick held up there. The whole thing was redacted. It was a page of black. The Therapeutic Goods Administration of Australia, you forced millions of people to take this. You swore till you were blue in the face. It was safe. We deserve to know. Why won't they release this? Why won't they release this? If there's nothing to hide, you'd think it'd just be like, oh, here you go. Here's all the reassurance in the world. They won't release it, or they will, but it's so heavily redacted. It's pages of black because 
they have something to hide. That is the only logical answer to this question. And when you've got millions of Australians you forced to take this thing, tens of thousands of Aussies whose lives are forever changed by vaccine injuries, this is unconscionable. It is unforgivable. And kudos to Senator Rennick because he's been like a dog with a bone he's on a this legend. issue. And, can and I every just Australian say, should be grateful to him. He Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.